We're still working towards adding uh, caching of our data with core data. Um, today, let's uh, change our network code so that we get by date, not by uh, just grabbing a random set of pods. First thing we need to do is go into date extensions. I'm gonna copy and paste long and I'm gonna rename it to uh, that. Um, since we can't do a hyphen, I'm doing an underscore. I'm gonna leave the existing uh, formatter, um, though we may in the future wanna change that. And I'll update the comment um, to read in a way that makes more sense. Twelve um, thirty. So returns that. I'm going to need that because that's the format that the API expects. So right now um, we're getting this count. We don't want that. Um, we'll keep this here. Uh, just for convenience sake, if we want to use that later. Let's add a start and an end string. And uh, we'll need to add an and sign and then I think, oop, an and sign and Pretty sure that's correct uh, for the parameter name. This one is end date, end date, not send date. And then we'll add an equals, an equals there. And we'll say today's date in that year, month, day format. And then we'll just, uh, I think for now, since we'll be making a lot of changes, Let's just make it uh, back to December 1st. I think that should be okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and break these out as well, just to make it consistent. Even though we're not using this one, like I say, we might want it later. And in place of that, uh, let's add our start and our end date. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, before we uh, get it, uh, let's make a couple of changes to our pod list view. Right now we have this infinite scrolling on. I'm gonna turn it off because we're getting the same set each time right now. So we don't need that uh, at the moment. We will add it back later, uh, probably with some more features. And then the next thing I'd like to do, um, let me show you. Uh, let's make sure it builds and then we'll see what the problem is before we make the fix. Okay, so it fetched the pods and you might note it's sorting them uh, in a way that you might not expect for a service like this. So for now, what we'll do is we'll just reverse our array Now we see, we get the uh, latest pod available from the API.